brand new information on the trucks only toll plan. A bill out in the last hour has a few more details about the governor's transportation plan. Chief Capital reporter Susan Raff is here now with the biggest changes. She's in our newsroom now. Susan, a lot of people want to know the, all the details on this. Yes, they certainly do. The biggest takeaway perhaps is a special transportation policy board that will be in charge of making changes to toll rates if there are any. It will no longer be the Department of Transportation and that board would also oversee all toll operations. In the meantime, the trucking industry says there are plenty of ways to avoid tolls. We've heard a lot about tolls and now Governor Lamont and Democrats say it's time for action. Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to have a public hearing on that uh, as early as the end of this week. If, and if that works, we could bring things up for a vote early next week. Lamont met with Democratic leaders privately last Friday, and they agreed on a transportation bill, which includes 12 tolls on six state highways. There will be an informational hearing on Friday, and the public, we are told, will be able to speak. There will also be special sessions for a vote next Monday and Tuesday, at an added cost of roughly $30,000 a day. Republicans say, why not wait until Wednesday, when the regular session starts? That no matter who's in charge, no matter how the process is slated to work, most of our constituents, because I represent the same people he does, um, most of our constituents did not believe the legislature could be trusted. Governor Lamont's plan includes truck-only tolls. The trucking industry opposes it and is adding more fuel to the fire. They say there are significant diversions and trucks can avoid some of the tolls. In East Lyme, getting off 95 and taking Route 161. In Hartford, taking the Charter Oak Bridge to Routes 3 and 2 to get on to 84. And in West Hartford, a toll on 84 could be avoided with so many exits to jump on and off from. The trucking industry will take the most sensible, efficient route to carry out what they're doing. So if that means going two extra minutes to save $20, which in turn saves their customers money, I think they'll do that. The hearing will be this Friday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the Legislative Office Building in Hartford. The plan is for a special session the following Monday and Tuesday. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.